All right, let's switch our focus to a developing story. Now, news broke on Monday that two-time double double Olympic, two-time double Olympic sprint champion Elaine Thompson Hira has parted ways with her latest coaching addition, Shaniki Osborne. Now, Osborne joined Thompson Hira's training group in July after the 31-year-old finished fifth in the 100 meters at Jamaica's World Championship trials. Now, a lot has been posted on social media and been swirl and has been swirling in the local media in Jamaica and for the first time since the initial story broke on Monday a Thompson Hira's camp has responded through a press release and that press release has come from Andy Sports Management a representative of the five-time Olympic gold medalist and I'll read aspects of it for you it says the professional separation came about due to a breakdown in negotiations on a compensation package for the services that would be provided by coach Osborne. The package proposed by the former coach by any measure of what is the norm for such services was extremely excessive and without any flexibility to negotiate by the other party. Collectively, we had no choice but to seek the services of another coach. Mrs. Elaine Thompson Hero benefited from the services of Coach Osborne, especially towards the end of the 2023 season. And for that, Mrs. Thompson Hero is grateful and would like to express her thanks for her impact in a very short space of time. Now, the release goes on to say, with the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, France fast approaching, Mrs. Thompson Hira is fully focused on her preparations for the season and the defense of her Olympic titles. In this regard, we have undertaken a process to procure the services of a coach who would be able to ensure the high standards of Mrs. Thompson Hira and that they are exceeded and her goals for the 2024 outdoor season are met. And the final paragraph says, once our search is complete and a final decision is made, we will once again use this medium to officially notify the fans, followers, supporters, and the general public. Mm. Rest assured that the best interest of Mrs. Thompson Hero supersedes all other concerns and all decisions will be made to fortify her legacy as one of the world's premier female sprinters. That is the release coming from Ander Sports Management representatives of Elaine Thompson Hero, the five-time Olympic gold medalist, Lance and Mariah. Yeah, I would say no new information because... I think all we got from that is, you know, confirmation that she's parted ways with her coach and we'll have to now sit back and wait on who will be leading the charges where Elaine Thompson Hero is concerned. For me personally, I have always expressed this feeling on the show. Um, you One, you can't work with somebody if there's a rift, you know, at the end of the day, we want the best for the athletes. So, if it has reached a point, I don't know how we got to this point because I think based on what we've seen from Elaine, she, she appeared to be doing really well and improving, getting back to where she was, where we knew her, you know, dominating gold and everything under this coach. So, how we got to here right now, you know, it needs a lot of clarity. But as it stands, you know, I trust that her team knows what they're doing and we can get the Elaine back to her very best as we saw her at the Olympics. Yeah, I want to say that Elaine Thompson Hero has been one of my favorite athletes of all time, whether male or female. And I have a lot of admiration for her. And uh, I, I am very, very concerned about what has been happening with her for the past season and so on. I remember when she had announced that Shanika Osborne would be her coach interim she made it quite clear that that it was an interim setup yes. and she would see what happens and i'm not sure in hindsight now if there may have been even at that point some discussion about remuneration and uh, whether she saw the partnership as long term or not because i remember her being very cagey 
when she announced that Shanika Osborne would coach, she said she will see how this goes, and depending on how things are, they will, they will decide what happens, you know, in, in, in the future. I think that sort of narrative was pushed in the background, though, because her performances suddenly started improving, and she mm -hmm. ended up at the back end of the season showing clear signs that she was beginning to get back to the Elaine Thompson hero that we, we know. So to hear this jolting story now that the partnership is ending because of uh, a failure to come to an agreement over a payment package is, is for me, hugely disappointing. And uh, if we are to take the press release that we've just gotten from the Elaine Thompson hero camp, you know, at, at face value, um, it seems as if they are being asked to pay Shanike Osborne a, a sum that is not reasonable. Yes, which is which is what we are getting from the the press release. So. That's disappointing for me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I got from the press release as well, Lance, that whatever it is that Shaniki Osborne um, was asking for was unreasonable and a figure that <laughs> you could not reasonably expect to get out of a situation like this. Um, now, what I also picked up from this um, is that her husband... Um, Darren Hira is not going to be the one coaching her. And I did get information earlier today that any setup which includes Darren Hira as coach will only be a temporary one until the position has been filled, which I think has been borne out in this um, press release that we have seen here today. But I think ultimately, Lance and Mariah, how people feel about this story will come down to what you feel about how much was being requested by Shaniki Osborne yeah. to coach Elaine Thompson here. I, I'll tell you a quick story because I have heard a figure, right? I won't say what that figure is, but I've heard a figure. And I reached out to a couple of individuals who are in the industry and who understand how the industry um, works. And I put a scenario to them, not this specific scenario, but I put a scenario to them without giving them any details. And I say, in a situation like this, this particular figure, would this be a fair ask? And they said to me, both persons said to me, no, this would, this seems was exorbitant. This? Okay. The figure I put to them was half mm -hmm. of what I heard was requested um, by Coach Osborne to take charge of Elaine Thompson here. And so if that figure is correct, in my opinion, there is, there is no way you could have expected that out of a situation like this. And I can understand from that standpoint why the situation is where it is. Okay. Um, but we look ahead now and we think, who will the next coach be? It is going to be a local coach. It is not going to be Stephen Francis. Stephen Francis has made that clear. So I think we he, know he that. He has? Yes, he has. Okay. To Leighton Levy. You, you, don't, you don't remember that story? I, I, but, but I, I think I heard a subsequent um, narrative coming from him that maybe it, 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 it is possible. It, it's not going to be him. It yeah. is not going to be him. Um, who it is going to be, I guess, based on the press release, we will find out soon. Um, but what I know at least is that she is definitely going to be staying in Jamaica because there have been rumors that she might have been looking overseas as well. Um, but from my information, she is definitely going to be staying in Jamaica. So I guess we we'll wait and see where that will go. Okay. Mm. More to come on this issue, I'm sure. We'll take a break for now, though. We'll be back with more.